How long is your display? Never mind. Mine is longer. And after the worst joke ever, we are ready to check this. Lily Go T display as long. Uh, I know that many of you have already bought this device. I also know that some some of you had many problems with it. And I will admit I also had a lot of problems. Even though I have a lot of experience with similar products, in this case I failed to successfully upload my own code. Screen was black all the time. A few weeks ago I also show you showed you this T display S3 Pro. Uh, the S3 Pro was easy to set up and use in the Arduino IDE and it was well document documented on uh, the Lilygo GitHub pages. But but examples they provide for T display S3 long were not enough for me to figure how to use it. And when I'm unable to figure out how to use something, I call my friend Nick, because he's Nick to fix. And if anyone can fix this, it is Nick. Here you can see our collaboration, this calculator. Let's try to calculate something. 52 divided by 2 is equal 26 divide by 8 is equal 3.25. So, Nick prepared everything, he edited libraries, cleaned unnecessary code and showed, showed me how to use this board. He also saw, solved the, the problem with the touch screen and after he did a hard job I created this calculator sketch in my own style. In this video we will share, me and Nick will share this code with you so you can use it or learn from it. You can find the code on Nick's GitHub repository, the link is in description. Nick spent so much time making this product uh, usable and user-friendly and I think he deserves coffee. If you want to support his work, you can find links on his GitHub. Also, he is always willing to help. In this video, I will show you how to use and upload this example. And on the Nick's GitHub, you can also find a basic Hello World example. We will check that too. But first, like, let's take a closer look at this board. So, this is T-Display S3 long. We can compare it with T-Display S3. And conclusion is, yes, it is longer. Very well and intelligent. On back side, we have some improvements. I think they are improvements. I really like it that this USB port which is facing down and these uh, stemma connectors which are also facing down and I also like it on and off switch. Why I like these USB and connectors facing down because that way this board will be easier to mount some somewhere. So, yeah, I need just cut hole here and install here and here it is. Easiest box for my project ever. Like always we have ESP32 S3. We have antenna, connector, 
Uh, but what is very different if we compare this board to older version is GPIOs or header pins are in this tiny format. These are not standard 2.5 mm headers, these are much much smaller. But if you use external connector for this header, it will be easy to use. I think that this board is oriented m to more professional users, not to beginners and not, you can't use this on a breadboard, but if you know what are you doing, this board will be easy to mount in in car or, or in box and you have many free GPIOs here you can use. But if you want to play on breadboard, older T-Display or T-Display AMOLED is much better. Resolution of this screen is 180 by 640. So approximately double size of this. And of course there is touch screen. So very nice form factor and very nice display and I was happy how my calculator turned out. Have you ever saw a calculator with larger digits? No, you haven't. And now let's see how to use this, how to install it in Arduino ID. First you can visit github repository of this board. Link will be in description. And here you can download everything and extract in some folder. And here in uh, libraries map you can copy these two files lvgl and lvconf.h in your Arduino libraries folder. So this is first step. Next you can go to nick the fix github page and here you have these two examples. First is First is this LVGL example and next one is our calculator example and you will also download everything. And here is your files. What is great that um, we are using same trick we used uh, with AMOLED board. So here are driver files and we are using TFT SPI library just to write in sprite and then we are pushing that sprite on screen uh, using this driver which Nick prepared. So basically you don't need to set up anything, you need to d download that um, LVG L library and you need to run this code. Also I need to... Um, I'm not sure why but my TFT SPI was hard heavily modified so I had to install fresh version of TFT SPI library from Budmer GitHub page.
and that's it keep in mind that you will need to choose these build option in your Arduino IDE and don't forget to read these useful information and that's it thank you I hope you like this video and I hope you will success, successfully run your the display S3 along. Bye and don't forget to subscribe.